you for being here. Conservatives somehow are off the mainstream. Woo. But let's remind them we didn't have to have 42 Democrats to beat Thad Cochran. <laughs> we did it the right way, we did it away with honor. We spoke to the people directly, we talked about the things that matter, we talked about liberty and freedom and the Constitution, we talked about balanced budgets and tax reform. And they talked about everything but that. Yes. We tried to date. We tried to discuss it. Nothing. Any issue was more important than the issues. Well, let's make it very clear today, after what we saw the other night, which is clearly the most unethical election in the history of this state. Yeah. And might and might very well be the most illegal election in the history of this state. We will let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the people of this state will do anything to preserve the torch of liberty. Yes. We will bear any burden, fight any foe, to make sure that corruption is finally rooted out of the election process in this state. Yes. At this point, what we see here is a true movement of liberty-loving, minded people that want to see change. The thing is, is that despite the threats that may be tender toward one of you or me or for, or for anybody for that matter, we have an obligation at this point to move past a single candidate or a single campaign. We stand together to fight for integrity in the election process. Yes. And we'll stand together to make sure that there's integrity in the Republican Party again as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The issue before us at this time, and you all know this very much, we are a party of principle or we're not a party at all. That's right. That's right. The unethical campaign that they have run has caused great harm to our party. It has splintered it. Don't let them tell you otherwise. That's right. What they did was not an outreach. It was scare tactics. What they did was not growing the base of the party. It was simply borrowing a handful of votes for a temporary time. What they did was not stand on the Republican platform. They abandoned the platform because power was too important to them. Power was too intoxicating to them. They left conservatives because they knew conservatives had left that Cochran. Yes, yes, yes. But that is no way to win an election. That is no way to conduct yourselves as honorable gentlemen. This is not about race. It's never been about race. The message of liberty resonates with all people. The message of freedom resonates with all people. And conservatism resonates with all people. And that's what we did. We talk about that message and what they did instead they committed race baiting didn't they yes yeah. they did they put uh, advertisements on the radio and flyers that said if i was elected that people would lose the right to vote 
They said if I was elected that welfare benefits would be cut off. They said that if I was elected, funding would be cut off to historically black universities. They said that if a Tea Party were able to succeed some degree of success, that we would go back to the good old bad old days, they said. Lies. 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 Distortions. Anything for power. We're going to expose it. Amen. I told you a long time ago when I first announced that I would fight no matter the cost. And so our fight continues, doesn't it? They can save their threats. They can save them. What matters here are the people of this state, the people of this nation, and they need to find the corruption and root it out of the system. We need to advance conservative causes, not by sacrificing our platform, but by upholding the Republican platform. That's exactly what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. We are... We've been through a lot, haven't we? Yes, we have. I consider you my family. We are. And that runs, that blood runs thick, doesn't it? Yes, it does. There's no way we'll abandon this cause. We will not leave our hands. Yes! That's what we want to hear! Because when we're done with this, the people of Mississippi will have their justice, they'll have their honor, and the people of this country will finally have some answers. Yeah. Yeah. Next is a is a gentleman that uh, I haven't known very long. 